control. So for bleeding control and management, we're always going to take proper PP precautions. Uh, BSI staying safe, gloves are on. Um, patient in this case is going to have a significantly bleeding wound from the arm. So we're, first thing we're always going to do is we're going to apply direct pressure and we're going to, you know, direct pressure hold that. If, the, if it bleeds through this gauze, we're going to just take more and layer on top. We're never going to take it off. We're just going to keep going. And then if he's still bleeding, um, pa if the patient's still bleeding after a decent amount of gauze, we're going to take a tourniquet. Can you hold that, please? Perfect. We're going to take the tourniquet and we're going to do it above the wound as high as we can. So we're going to take the tourniquet. Cinch it down. We're not going to cross over because we still need access. We're going to take the whistle and just twist until there is stoppage of blood flow. I'm going to stop right there for you. We're going to seal it. We're going to write the time and then we can go over it. This can just stay there. Um, once blood flow has ceased to it and you no longer feel a pulse down here, that's how you know the tourniquet is doing its job. In this case too, the patient is going to start exhibiting some signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion. So what we're going to do is we're going to start positioning the patient, so lay back in a little bit more of a relaxed seated position, or we're going to lay them flat on the gurney. We're going to also start delivering some high concentration O2, so that's going to be a non-rebreather mask at 10 liters per minute at minimum and start getting all that good high flow, high concentration oxygen to them. And then we're going to start preventing heat loss as a sign at, from the shock. So we're gonna get a blanket and cover them to start keeping, uh, to maintain that warm core for the patient. Once this is all done and the patient's stable, we're gonna begin immediate transport. <laughs> Thank you.